I've been gone for a while. But now I'm back and I'm ready to try some new snacks. So my cousin who's living in Japan right now, she sent me some snacks from Okinawa and also Kyoto. And I can't wait to try them. If you guys want to try some more snacks with me, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and also follow for more. We're gonna start with these snacks from Kyoto. So these two are some rice seasoning powder flavor. I don't know what the toppings, what are these called? Toppings, rice seasoning. Here I have two rice seasonings that you can use, I guess, to top your rice with. If you need some more flavoring, we'll try that in another time. This is a box of beautiful Kyoto mochi, I think. Um, my cousin has never tried it, she just bought it for me. Nice packaging. Very simple and easy to understand packaging. Ooh. smells buttery and smells like matcha look at that it has little matcha on top so cute let's try it it's pretty dense so you can see it's pretty dense and it really has a nice matcha flavor but it also reminds me a little bit of moon cake but definitely not as creamy as I would like it to be not on the top of my list though. And now we also have Uji Kyoto green tea chocolate. Individually packed. So there's about 12 in here. Nice packaging, very clean. Green, definitely emphasizing the matcha. Ooh, I'm gonna like these. It's like a cream in between two very buttery cookies. Oddly enough, it reminds me of a cookie version of a Kit Kat, if that makes sense. Um, oops. <laughs> the cream definitely reminds me of the outer chocolate of the Kit Kat. And the cookie is actually pretty crumbly, very soft. It's a nice mouthfeel, but it's also not my favorite as well. But it's a good snack to try, definitely a good snack to try. It's not my favorite, but I would get it again. Moving on to the Kyoto waffle cookie. Yeah. Alrighty. So, such glistening packaging, yet also mysterious, because we have no idea actually what's inside. But let's see. Oh. What? <gasps> wow. It looks like a Pringle. Whoa. This is so cool. It looks like a Pringle. Waffle too. <laughs> well, it didn't crumble. That was the uh, the test whether it crumbles or not. I guess it's a very hard cookie. Nope, let's see. I really like this one. It has an even coating of chocolate, but also has that nice bitterness of the matcha. And the cookie is just crunchy enough, but not like, like, ah, uh, I gotta like take a few more bites. It's just a nice blend of a sweetness, bitterness, anything else. Oh, salt will be nice, you know. Just a little bit more of that umami, but still, I think 
for what it is, it's a really great cookie. Wow. No wonder the packaging it didn't save too much. This itself is a prize. Yes, that one I would definitely get again. And now for all four flavors. Shall we keep up with the matcha? Let's do the matcha one first. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's little flowers. So the matcha one is really good. It has that umami taste that I was talking about that the waffle cookie was lacking. It was a nice bite-sized cookie, which is easy to not try to overeat. So this is pretty good. This is like one of the best. Let's try the strawberry flavor now. Blessed with so many flowers today. It kind of reminds me of, you know, the yan yan pocky sticks or the yan yan uh, sticks where you dip strawberry chocolate or cream. This is what it reminds me of. Pretty artificial, nothing too spectacular. Now moving on to chocolate. Not too sweet. I like it. It's like a nice dark chocolate cookie. The chocolate is not only on the surface, it's ingrained in the cookie. It's good. Last but not least, we have the buckwheat cookie. It's definitely the healthiest of them all. So honestly, this box of cookies is a good gift or present for a family or just your coworkers or a group of friends because they have flavors for everybody. Chocolate, strawberry, buckwheat, those that don't like sweets too much and also matcha. 